Hey guys, what up? It's Goosey V here again today, and today I'm back with another Man Mobile video on my channel. And today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about the No Game Plan Tournament. Of course, as you can see here, uh, the time available is in 26 hours, but I'm pre-recording this. You guys are seeing this on Saturday. But uh, this weekend, there's a No Game Plan Tournament. Actually, a really good idea. I was waiting for them to do something like this, and they finally brought it out, and I like the idea. I think it's going to be better evenly matched and like easy, maybe easier to score at times um i think just gonna be closer matches stuff like that because um some people have ridiculous counter combos and you just get wrecked on some plays and some people are harder than they should be so i think this is really going to even some stuff out so the rules in this tournament uh during this week's tournament you get two drives from the opponent's 25 yard line in the head-to-head -head match only one pass play drive and only one run play drive, so we have a pass play and a run play drive. Uh, game plan counters are disabled, but frequency counters are still active, so you can't just spam one amazing play uh, because it's going to get countered after you do it a couple of times. Um, you have 30 minutes, of, as always, to complete all drives and score more points than your opponent, and ties are decided by time to score and then by yard gain. So it's I can't play in any, uh, you know, gameplay for you guys, but um, one of the main reasons you guys are here probably is to see what reward you guys want to be choosing on Monday. I'm not participating in this tournament, but if you guys want to, here is what you should be picking, or at least hopefully I can help narrow it down for you. So in the first tier, um, you need, uh, well, for your first tier, you can choose between 5,000 XP points, 200 stamina, and 1,000 favorite team tokens. Um, if you're going for 24-7 players, like if you haven't completed the first achievement thing where you get the achievement packs, I would definitely go with the favorite team tokens because if you're like short on a team or something, you can switch to that team, make sure before you open that pack, and you'll get that team token. Um, so if you're going for that, I would go for that. If not, I think the best one here is probably the XP points. For tier 2, uh, we get a tournament trophy, a stacked player pack, or a gold squad pack. The gold squad pack is always auctionable. Uh, it's 3 gold or better players, it's a really small chance at an elite, but there is a chance. And a stacked player, you're most likely going to get a gold, but once again, small chance at an elite. Now, I'm not sure how many tournament trophies you need for the tournament master, um, but... Um, it really depends here. I would probably go with the gold squad pack. You're going to get a little bit of coins out of it. Um, not a whole lot because I'm not exactly sure what the golds are going for. But no, they're not going for a whole ton. Stack player pack, most likely not auctionable. And unless you're going for the super stack and you pull an elite, stuff like that. It's really not worth it. So either a gold squad pack or the tournament trophy, depending on what you're really going for. Uh, tier 3, there's 2 times tournament XP booster, 10 times 90 overall top 100 collectibles, or 700 stamina. I would definitely rule out the tournament XP boosters, um, but if you have a 90 overall team, or you're at least close to a 90 overall team, that would be what I'm going, that I would go for, um, because you need 25 of the collectibles, that's, you know, actually already pretty close, uh, just two-fifths of the way, uh, just with that one tournament, and they had past tournaments, uh, like that, where you could have gotten stuff, um, so... I think this is actually not a bad one, so I would go with the, if you are close to a 90 overall, like an 88 or an 89, uh, or you have enough coins to get to a 90 overall and you want to start grinding that, go for that. If not, go for the 700 stamina. For tier 4, you can choose between 10 tournament trophies, 3 elite XP boosters, and 3 elite long shot training. If you're just looking to uh, boost up any long shot players like Antonio Gates or whatever, go with the long shot uh, collectibles, but if not, definitely go with the tournament trophies. That would be the main one. And the final one, elite offensive player, 700 cast and 25,000 XP points. Um, in my opinion, all three of these, of course, are really good. Elite offensive player, if you're going for the coins, is always the best bet because these are always auctionable. And a lot of people pull a ton of high overalls, 88, 89, 90s. Uh, if you get really unlucky, you're going to pull a bad player. But I've seen a lot of people pull some ridiculous stuff out of these. Um, so uh, definitely go with the elite offensive player if you're going for the coins. If you're just trying to level up and you don't really care about the coins or the player or whatever. Of course, the you know points if you're trying to buy some packs, have more fun with it. Uh, go with the 700 cash. But the main thing I would choose is the elite offensive player. So I'm not playing this tournament, like I said. Um, but I will be saving up some tickets 
for future tournaments, such as like an Ultimate Freeze tournament, which I'm sure we'll have, which I'm super excited for. Um, I know I haven't had a lot of content out lately, that's because the game is super bland and dry, there's nothing to do really right now, um, and I've been a little bit busy, uh, I have a hockey tournament this weekend, that's why I'm pre-recording this video. Um, and stuff like that so um, of course you can't use a game plan in this tournament but um, just gonna have to rely on pretty much pure skill I've updated my team a little bit I just got to an 85 overall um, 88 offense my offense is stacked a bunch of upgraded wide receivers quarterbacks my halfback Barry Sanders such a good card my offensive line could definitely use some upgrades defense is uh, looking pretty solid as well. Um, I just picked up Gerald McCoy. Or no, 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 not Gerald McCoy. I just picked up Javen Clowney, um, who's a stuffed player, and I also picked up Marcel Darius today, who was also a stuffed player, so that's kind of nice. Um, but anyways, guys, that's just about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Goose TV, and I'm out. I'll see you guys later.